Did you know there are four different ways that you can clip files or trim files in PowerDirector? <laughs> in this episode, I'm going to show you all four ways and explain to you why you would use each of these four ways and what different types of situations they work best in. There are several different ways to cut or trim uh, media files in PowerDirector, and I'm going to show you four different ways to do it in this tutorial today. Uh, the first one is really simple. I've got a file on my timeline here, and the easiest way you can do that is to simply grab from one end and move it in like this, drop, and I've cut that part off. And I can do the same thing from the end as well and could drag it in and drop and now I've trimmed the file that works when you've got a uh, you know a fairly short clip and there's some stuff at the beginning you don't want or maybe stuff at the end you want you don't want you can pull it in and from both ends and trim it down that way to get it to where you want it to be one good use for pulling in the ends as a way of shortening a file is with audio files when you get a download a, a, an audio file to use in a video quite often you'll see and I'll zoom in so you can really see it here we are you see there's there's excess here okay so you can hear the song ends before the media file does so really that there's a little bit there that you don't want and you may need to be very precise with uh, the audio clip and so you want to get rid of that and again so you click on this and pull that in just a bit of, like that and now you've shortened it to fit exactly what you need for the the uh, audio file so you can see the the first way to do that where you just pull in from the ends is easy to do but it's really limited uh, if you've got a long clip you may have to drag it in a long ways to get it to where you want you can only basically clip the file one time when you're pulling in from the end so it's it's pretty limited it's good for a down and dirt, dirty trimming uh, but the next tool that I'm going to show you is this one here and it's called split timeline and you can use it to cut a single clip like one of these into pieces so if I had little sections of this clip that I wanted I could go and clip out or split out the the pieces that I want there's another tool I want to show you in a minute that does a much better job of that where I find the split tool to be very helpful and is a situation like this in this situation I had one camera set up on me and recording me talking and at the same time I was recording the screen on my cell phone which I'm holding in my hand then I went into the sync by audio function of power director and I synchronized these two all these clips so they're they're hap they're they're running at the same time. Now what I want to do is make cuts in this these clips both at the exact same points, and then I can do things like I can switch from one to the other back and forth, and it moves seamlessly because it's all synchronized. Or I can take this bottom one and make it smaller and and make it a picture in picture uh, image that's overlaid on top of the background shot. So that's that's something I use quite a bit. It's very very common in uh, tutorials and things like that and the split tool is a really good way to do it I've got the cursor set right about where I want it you can you can hear okay All right. at this point it's a good idea to go into your app set okay let me go back to the spot and let me get it right to the exact point okay alright All right. That's about exactly there. If I wanted, I could fine tune this. If I use these cursors here, I can move this forward one frame at a time to get it really exactly where I want it. But for right now, this is this is a pretty good spot. Now, you notice that neither of these rows are selected. If I had that one selected, you'd see it's highlighted in blue. Same if I have that one selected. I want neither of these to be selected. And to accomplish that, you just click anywhere where there isn't a clip. So you could click down here and now it's neither of them are selected. I could have clipped over here. Anyway, uh, I've got it right about at the point where I want it. 
and uh, neither row is selected. And now all I have to do is hit this split icon and you can see that it has cut all, all these rows. If I had 15 rows of content there and none of them were selected, when I hit that split icon, all of the, uh, all of the clips on all 15 rows would have been split. So it, it's a great way to, if you have things that are synchronized, you want to cut everything at an exact point. Uh, this is a great tool for doing it. Now, if I wanted to, I could continue on and I'm just going to make this up. Uh, so if I'm dragging along, okay, here's where I want to Here's where I want to make another split. I want to end that piece that I'm using. All I do is get it in the right spot. I hit split again, and now these are all broken up. And here's here's my clip that uh, I've got that I can work with. For example, I, I said I could make a PIP with this. So I've got it that that one selected, the bottom row selected. I can dr click and drag this in and put that up there. And now I've got picture in picture. Okay. At this point, it's a good idea to go into your apps. Anyway, you can go through this and find another spot. You can do, uh, you can split it, drag it forward again. Here's another spot, you can split it. And you can just go through all your clips and do it and use this split tool to cut things up into nice pieces that are all synchronized. And like I say, you can do a picture in picture with one of these, or you can do where where it's uh, I, I can take this one and now I've got I'm using remember I'm using my audio from here so if I I want to unlink my video click on that video clip and delete it now my audio is still there but now it will jump to the background clip 66 meters is good maximum altitude so you can see the value of the split tool, especially when you're dealing with multiple layers of content that you want to keep synchronized. Now, as I said, you can use this on a single clip. I could, I could come in here. Okay. I want this piece here. I split it Come up here. There's where that segment ends. I split it and then I come up here. Here's where my next clip starts. I go forward again. And hit it split it now I can click on this piece here these are the pieces that I want to keep so this is the one I want to get rid of I hit delete and move all clips and now I've got the two clips that are right together that way I want them with the stuff I don't need cut out anyway that's the second way to cut a file with the split tool the third way I'm going to show you to cut media files in uh, PowerDirector is something called the trim tool and it's represented by a little pair of scissors over here on the time on the, above the timeline. This is a very useful tool for the specific si situation of working with a large long video file or media file. Again, it works for audio too. Long media file where you really want to precisely select the place where you want to make a cut and and excerpt out one portion of it. So I've got a, this long clip here selected and I'm going to click on the scissors and the trim tool opens up. We have two choices, single trim and multi trim. I want to focus on single trim for right now. Here's what we've got. We've got a large preview of our media clip that we have selected and gives information about uh, uh, where we're going to make our marks here in a minute. Beneath the preview here, we've got a timeline, and this shows the entire clip. This represents the entire clip that you have selected. And as you, you can scrub through the clip very quickly like, like that, or you can hit, hit, you can hit play and, and listen and watch the clip in real time. So I'm going to just drag this forward a little bit. Okay. Here a little bit. Now the drone's flying. Let's say this is where I wanted to start my clip. I could try to drag that thing over, but I'm going to lose my spot. So I can just hit this little mark in icon 
and it jumps right there. Now I've got that spot uh, selected. Then I can click on here and drag through. Let's say this is all what I wanted. I mean, I can play it here to get it precise. Okay, that's pretty good. I may want to adjust it just a couple of frames. Again, obviously, this is for demonstration purposes. So that's that's exactly where I want to cut this thing out, right down to the frame. Then all I have to do is mark out. And now my frame is selected. And here it tells me how long that frame or how that clip, how long that clip is, where it is, where the in position and out position are on, uh, on the timeline. And I hit OK. And the clip is cut. And here's the clip that we just trimmed down. Notice that as I did that, I clipped it. All the other clips that were after it on all rows will move in. So keep that in mind as you're using this tool. You clip this, anything that, that appears on the timeline after it is going to jump up when you clip things out. Anyway, that's the trim tool for a single segment. And again, I like that when I'm trying to be real precise about it or whether I, when I want to have a nice big preview I can look at on screen and, and see exactly where I am on my clip and uh, you know it's it's a great tool for precision let me hit control z so we're back to that long piece of footage there or that long screen capture i should say from my phone and i'm going to show you the fourth way and that you probably have guessed is the uh, multi-trim version of the trim window so again i have that clip selected and i'm going to click the trim tool and we're back up. You can see that the single trim is in blue. So that's the view that we're looking at. I'm going to click on multi-trim this time. And now things change a little bit. What we've got, again, we've got the preview window. Then we've got this timeline. And now we've got another timeline. This timeline represents the entire length of the clip. And what's inside this blue box is what you see here. So this is like the global view. This is like a magnified view of the section you're working on. I can change that. I grab the side and I drag that out. Now this time, this timeline down here represents all of this area. And I can move this thing around back and forth and pick the uh, part of the timeline I want to work on. Okay, so let's say I want to start in here. I'll move the cursor over here. Get it up to where we're, the drone is flying. Okay, there's about to take off. I'll scroll that over here. I want to start there. This time I'm going to grab that thing and bring it over here. And I'll show you why in a minute. So that, that's about where I want to start. And that's and I've got that mark in set there. Now let's drag this forward a little bit and let's stop that clip there. I'm going to take this one, drag it down, and leave it. Now let's come over here a little bit. Now we're outside of that clip. Now I hit another mark in. And I drag here and I hit mark out. I can come up here. Oh, here's another spot that I want. I can mark in and I mark out. And once again, I go over here and I mark in and I come over here and I mark out. And you can see. I've created all these sections and the, my pieces are highlighted in blue so I know exactly which ones I've chosen. And then the information about each little segment is specified right here. And I can change this. Oh, I, I didn't want that one there. I want this over here so I can pull that one out if I want to. You can move these things. Uh, you can adjust these things all along and scroll all through the line. That's all I want. I'm ready to go. I hit OK. And here are the pieces that I just saved, the segments of that clip as it referred to it. Here, 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 and here. All trimmed up and ready to go. Again, just pay attention. 
anything that was on the timeline, anywhere on the timeline, any row after this jump forward when I cut that out. Cause obviously I was shortening, shortening this clip. So everything else moved up. So keep that in mind. If you have things all aligned and you use this tool on, you know, to trim something down, it will have an impact on your, uh, on your video project, on the layout and where things fall in the timeline. Are you interested in finding a video editing program that is powerful, easy to use and inexpensive? PowerDirector is a great choice for people new to video editing and experienced editors alike. On screen is a review of PowerDirector so you can learn more about the program, but if you're ready to buy PowerDirector, follow the link in the description below. You'll get the best available price for PowerDirector and you'll help support this channel so I can make more tutorials for you in the future. So that's it for this episode. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. On screen are links to other PowerDirector tutorials and reviews, so I hope you check those out. Before you go, please hit that subscribe button. I've got more PowerDirector uh, tutorials in the works, and I'll be publishing those soon. And uh, be sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up in the, in the comments below. I always appreciate those. Thanks for watching.